Hey, we back. I'm here on the Midday server where there's been a small update um, and I'm going to talk about it briefly because pff, what else to do? Um, and to be fair, it's reasonably relevant because while the update in itself is not so big, it does once again hint at uh, some larger stuff that's happening in the future uh, that I will, I will go over. Um, so, what have we got? I was here, it was a couple of days ago. Um, so yeah there you go uh, the first thing is a new flag standard stuff new flags are always good we like new flags soulmates flag so i'm personally pretty happy with it um but yeah hide duplicate soulmates with d minus uh, nothing nothing too fancy there but yeah good stuff um we also have the d flag for pin like list which is pretty good uh, the d flag showing duplicate pins there um so that's fun I guess um, I'm I'm not sure what use it would have on the like list specifically um, but I suppose it could tell you if there's uh, liked pins that you could release or something like that I don't know um, it, it, if you use the pin like list a lot then I suppose that could help you out but um, given that most people don't I feel like the the, the flag is just nice you know rather than actually wow epic uh, we also have top can now display custom characters. Um, this doesn't make too much difference. Top, of course, showing the 1,000 highest ranked characters. Um, but uh, custom characters having the minimum possible ranks, you would think that they're never going to show up anyway. The only time that this makes a difference is if you're on somewhere like the Midday official server, where every character is claimed, uh, then people will use Topu to try and find what characters are not yet claimed. Of course, the same is done on any server, but on most servers it's to find the highest ranked characters that are not claimed, whereas on servers like the official one, it's just to find any character that isn't claimed. Uh, so this will be nice for that. You can find unclaimed custom characters on official Midday server or, or other servers with all claims. Um, but I would say in general, uh, the servers that you're in probably won't have all characters so this again isn't a huge difference um, we have the keys database uh, having an increased data compression which probably no one cares about but the limit of 3,000 keys per character no longer exists this is fun um, if you didn't know yet there is a limit of 3,000 keys per character I went over it in a video before I believe someone in the comments section actually told me about this um, but it's now gone so if you are doing super heavy key grinding um, then you'll probably be happy with that uh, but again most servers don't have keys of that level anyway so it doesn't make too much difference right this is where we get to the big stuff though uh, so it's flags and sub commands are available for slash commands now and more slash commands were added so we have um, examples mmwre0 is now mm slash wr that we're getting these extra slashes we've got slash note slash series and then we've got the uh, the text at the end there as well so slash commands are getting more developed now this has been said in the past uh, as you can see from the the last update up here at the end of january um there's uh, a lot of updates going on at the moment with slash commands because discord is trying to move over all bots to slash commands uh, now you may use slash commands from a day already if you weren't aware you do get a little bit extra chance of spawning a wish and stuff like that with slash commands more details i've got a video on them check that out um but in general i personally don't use them because they're kind of slow uh, i'm really hoping discord speeds them up so you can do uh, one every second or you know five every five seconds rather uh, the same as regular discord messages whereas at the moment it's two every five seconds which is not as good but I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, rolling in Midday with slash commands is a little slow, that's all. Um, but Discord is clearly trying to move everything over to slash commands. We're also having arena bot slash commands added soon. Um, there's uh, Midday adding buttons, which is kind of nice. Um, buttons, if you've seen them on other bots, things like Tatsumaki uses them and Notbot uses them, just instead of the reactions. 
So that might be nice. Um, I don't know how fast they load in comparison with reactions. I would say probably slower, which is again, not great um, because especially when claiming you want those fast reactions. Um, but there's no news on moving the actual reactions over to buttons yet. So we'll leave that for now. Uh, but yes, as you can see, Discord is once again trying to move Midday and all other bots over to buttons and slash commands and all, this, all the rest of it. Because on Discord's end, it's a lot faster to run them like that. So Discord is much happier. The API will be much happier um, and we should be fine. Of course, Midday in general, API issues are not so much of a problem right now. Um, the body is not forever going down and stuff because of the API issues, which was the issue in the past. Uh, so it's it's getting much better. Um, but yeah, if we start moving everything over to slash commands, there's going to be advantages. There's going to be disadvantages. We'll see what happens. But that's definitely on the horizon. Um, I don't know if it'll be months or even years, but uh, in the future, I I can see uh, a world in which Midday and in fact all other bots use slash commands exclusively. Um, and depending on how well they're done, this might be good or bad. Uh, the final thing is that we also have uh, regular images and GIF links uh, will be 99% perverted by Midday.net, uh, which is basically all images except for custom images, which are not affected. Um, some of the shards already have this update, so uh, as I would have imagined, no one can tell uh, the place that the images are hosted doesn't make any difference to us. So uh, that, that doesn't really matter. A lot of this update is just, huh, nice. Um, but yeah, the uh, the API stuff is kind of interesting. Um, I do wonder how long it will be before we're all using slash commands. Um, and whether it will be fast enough for our roles. That's the main point of this video. Um, so yeah, be, be, be looking out for that in the future. Um, but it's not happening yet, so we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, personally, I'm kind of like, oh, this isn't great, I'm happy with the way things are at the moment. Um, but equally, if slash commands are implemented well, then there really is no, no issue there, um, because we'll, we've got a good while yet before they're added. Um, the only other issue that I have with slash commands is simply that if you've got a lot of bots in your server, um, the slash command menu gets a little bit cluttered. Finding the right commands is kind of annoying because they try and make sure you have the search for the commands thing, which is really nice because of course normally you have to memorize commands, but it's a bit pointless if it's so cluttered you can't find anything. Um, slash commands just in general are not super optimal yet, uh, but I mean it's a work in progress, isn't it? And Discord is trying to slowly make improvements. Uh, it's up to you whether you like Discord's improvements or not. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Small Midday update, kind of nice. Nice new flag, nice new uh, keys limit, you know, random stuff, basically. Um, I'm hoping we get a proper big Midday update soon, uh, but realistically, chances of that happening are pretty small. Um, for now, we'll just have to cope with things like this. The same goes for other bots as well, though, so what are you going to do? Anyway, I will leave this one here. Bye!